Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. And I want you to know I've been praying for you as we've been away from each other for, I think this is the fifth Sunday. Um, there are two things I want to talk to you today uh, about from Luke's Gospel. This is known as the Walk to Emmaus Gospel. And the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the two followers of Jesus who were on a long walk on the road to Emmaus. Uh, pretty sad. Uh, they were having grief, sorrow, disappointment, uh, kind of all the feelings I'm feeling on a daily basis right now. And maybe you are too. Um, they were sad. They had just uh, been through Jesus' death, as we had just been through Jesus' death at the end of Lent. And this disappointment was the topic of their discussion. And then all of a sudden, a gentleman comes along and walks with them. They didn't know who it was. Do you know who it was? That's right. It was Jesus. But they didn't know. And uh, he asked them what they were so sad about, and they explained. And he sort of was uh, jolted them. Hey, wait a minute. The scripture says that was supposed to happen. The Messiah was supposed to suffer to save you. They still kind of didn't believe this stranger. And then as night drew, they uh, settled down to uh, stay somewhere safe, and they invited him to stay with them. And at dinner time, he broke bread, and he revealed them, revealed himself to them. And it was a surprise. It was kind of like a peekaboo surprise because it was full of joy. I think uh, for the peekaboo giver, there's joy. And for the receiver, you know, you've seen a little kid when they get peekabooed, they're so happy. And that's how these followers were just thrilled, filled with joy, thrilled to know that this was Jesus, that, oh, he is risen from the dead. We have seen the risen Lord. Their eyes were opened. Here's the message from the road to Emmaus, I think. Jesus meets us. That's probably backwards to you. But he meets us. He meets us where we are. We're not alone. He's, we don't have to go to church. He can be here in this room, out on a walk, in my classroom, in the grocery store, in the car when I'm feeling down. He meets us where we are. He listens to us. He listens patiently. He walked, well, I think it's a seven-mile walk to Emmaus, and he walked with them, patiently listening. Then, woohoo, jolts us with a surprise. He corrects our wrong assumptions. But see, I made a little heart there. He corrects us lovingly because he loves us. But he wants us not to misunderstand. He died to save us, not so that we're sad, but so that we can feel joy in this message. And then he invites us. He invites us to eat with him at the communion table each week. And that brings me to my second part of the lesson. The whole time Jesus and his followers are walking to Emmaus, they have this feeling in their hearts, this kind of burning in their hearts. And it's not heartburn, my friends. It is joy. It's joy burning in their hearts. And it reminded me of what I'm getting ready for at our house. A birthday. It's Wit's birthday this coming week, and we're getting out birthday supplies. Now, we can't have a huge party for him, but that doesn't mean we won't have joy. We're just going to have joy differently this year. But I started to think about traditions, anniversaries, and birthdays, and celebrations, and holidays, and that we celebrate these things maybe once a year or once a week, like communion, to remind ourselves, to give us that joy in our hearts, that burning, that love that I remember when Wit was born, or that love that you remember on your anniversary, your parents' anniversary, your grandparents' anniversary, when they were married. And of course, a communion, the joy that we know that Christ is present in that bread, in that gift of grace from God. 
So I want you to uh, think about the road to Emmaus with two messages. Jesus changes our hearts by meeting us where we are, listening patiently to us, correcting our wrong assumptions, and then inviting us in to commune with him, to celebrate And that in our changed hearts, the broken heart of those followers was healed. There was full of joy. So, let's pray. Dear Lord, Jesus made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread. Open our eyes so that we may see him and feel him as we walk through these difficult days that our hearts may be changed from broken to full of joy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that you, when you have your sad times, can remember the followers of Jesus on the road to Emmaus. And wherever you are, know that Jesus is listening. He's waiting patiently for you. And he invites you in to share in the joy. Have a great week.